good y'all I'm back with another tutorial for FL studio in this video I'll be showing y'all a super quick way on how to shop your samples slice your samples in FL studio with the fruity slicer the playlist and Edison so without further ado like subscribe comment what you want to see next and when this video hits a hundred likes I'm gonna drop the chords and melodies tutorial that a lot of y'all have been asking me for um, so yeah with that being said let's jump into it so first off you want to have your sample of course you want to have the fruity slicer open of course then what you're gonna want to do drag your sample into the playlist and then you're gonna notice well maybe yours might be synced up with the tempo already that you have and that's unlikely so what you want to do is you want to up the tempo or down the, depending on like your sample you might bring your sample in for instance and it might be going over like this you know what I'm saying it might be going over the bars the structure of the bars so you're gonna want to take that down and if you notice when I put it at 190 it's perfectly lined up when I put it at 190 so once you have it perfectly lined up you're gonna want to click right here click edit you're gonna want to go right here where it says tempo slide your mouse to the right a little bit till you see this finger pop up click that it's gonna lock the tempo and Edison with the tempo and the sequencer so now what you're gonna want to do is click ABC right here auto slice medium slicing medium grid slicing drag that to the fruity slicer then it's gonna be chopped right now, but what you're gonna notice is a little artifact. Hold on. See what I'm saying? That annoying ass click. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go over here to this attack knob, bring it up a little bit. And then it should eliminate the click. So yeah that's pretty much it for just simply just chopping the sample getting it getting different chops so you could you know do whatever you want to do with them you can also export these in edison to where each chop will be saved as a different wave you know what i'm saying you just export regions for sampler use but yeah, that's pretty much it for quickly just chopping samples and getting that annoying ass click out from it after you slice it up and put it in the slicer. So yeah, with that being said, comment what you want to see next tutorial wise, like this video and subscribe and a lot more on the way. And when this video hits 100 likes, the chords and melodies tutorial is coming. So and I'm going to show y'all a couple things that a lot of people aren't showing on here. Because that's what I'm doing with this, with this channel. I don't want to just do the same shit everybody's doing tutorial-wise. I want to show y'all different ways on how I do things, different ways. So, yeah. So, with that being said, I appreciate y'all watching. And I'm out.